throughout the mid 90s so this case actually broke out in 1992 and throughout the mid 90s i think when both of us were kids this actually uh, was one of india's biggest sex scandal and a lot of people are not aware about it at all so what had happened was in ajmer at the chisti darga girls over 8000 girls not one not two not three this went into thousand almost a uh, thousand girls were blackmailed uh, forcibly uh, you know assaulted like they they were raped and uh, they were blackmailed uh, their obscene photographs were taken and those photographs were used to blackmail them and those girls had to go and convince other girls to come and be part of this racket Right. Uh, so it was one of the most shocking thing that had ever happened and we didn't fact, cover this no there was only one you know regional paper nav bharat by the name nav bharat right. where this journalist called santosh gupta uh, you know tried to cover it and what had happened was uh, he landed into major soup and there were people after him uh, and one of the shocking thing is there were 18 people accused in right. this okay there were 18 people accused and most of these they were all muslim and most of these accused belonged to the family of the khadims of the ajmer sharif darga right now this ajmer sharif darga uh, you know they say that you know the generation of the person who is buried in the darga within the darga the chisti the chisti uh, uh, you know lineage people of that lineage the accused were people of that lineage they were khadims they are called khadims in uh, arabic or urdu so 18 of them were accused and uh, believe it or not in 2007 a fast track court in ajmer convicted farooq chisti who was right. one of the main accused and then what they did was they declared him unstable mentally unstable right save him from any punishment and this mental uh, mentally unstable thing is quite misused in our law like if you see I, i'm just digressing i'll just tell you about this mental uh, illness thing i'm digressing is in andhra pradesh whenever a temple is vandalized and uh, the victim belongs to a minority specifically an islamic community they'll say that the person is mentally unstable this has happened multiple times in andhra pradesh so this is something that we use in the law to you know save the person from any sort of legal repercussions Right. and no, it was only is that uh, there are reforms uh, that can be probably probably be introduced to tackle issues like these um, and the other thing is uh, i you know do you feel that in general the indian society is not aware of uh, several legal provisions that may come to their rescue so in fact it, even the police is not aware about the you know uh, legal procedure the decorum that needs to be followed like in 2018 because of the sultan puri case 2017 and 18 because of the sultan puri case there were three policy changes regarding the pokso pokma uh, regarding the scst atrocity act and regarding human trafficking uh, even the police is not aware the minute you realize even in this nepal case with the delhi police this nepali the, this little girl of nepal nepali origin when she was she went missing the police should have immediately put in a pokso case pokso and pokma uh, pokso is prevention of uh, you know uh, sexual assault on minors and pokma is prevention of child marriage right uh, they should have been aware and and that is a very serious uh, uh, case okay it's it's absolutely non bailable and and the yeah. uh, jail terms are uh, But longer in this case it's the police we are talking about it's not the civilians who may not be aware of such provisions when police themselves are not aware how do you expect civilians to be aware about such things right most civilians are not even aware about these kind of crimes you know like the forced conversion or or even this ajmer case where so many girls were uh, blackmailed into uh, this and they were minor girls they were big that too from well to do families right from one particular college st saint stephen's college there's a very book, good book uh, you know written by one of the teachers who actually witnessed this whole thing uh, but that's the thing uh, the, uh, the author is anuradha marwa 
she right. had written a book about this you know it's uh, it, it's it's actually quite uh, astonishing that uh, generally sexual assault cases are stereotyped with the church and it's also associated in a large number because of uh, the number of cases involved uh, right not just in the west but even in india it's come to light i think we were discussing in the last session but this is the first time i'm personally hearing about such cases associated with the muslim community that to a place of worship see the thing is this ajmer uh, sex scandal is india's biggest scandal to date to date and it shook the entire uh, community in rajasthan people would not marry their sons to girls who were born or raised in Raj- in, in ajmer and you know that that's how bad it had become there was actually a taboo on marrying girls from ajmer there right any religion hindu muslim christian they wouldn't marry girls from ajmer that's how bad that case had become it had become a taboo the thing is our media also is very biased media is very 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 biased they will not cover cases uh, and crimes when they are committed by the muslim community you will see even you know times now is famous for it times uh, times of india is extremely notorious um, for for doing this every time a molvi or a you know muslim baba kind of person you know who does that jadu tuna with the jhadu when those kind of people are arrested they will write it as a swami got arrested have you noticed yeah, yeah. they say that he tantric yeah. tantric since when is tantra part of islam or uh, you know part of muslim community right. they say tantrik or swami or something this keep right. happening please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar